All right, hey guys, what's going on? Today, I will be showcasing the plugin titled Skins Restore, created by the SR team. This plugin is compatible with Minecraft versions 1.8 and above, and I should note that this plugin has some particular distinction due to the fact that it is the most downloaded plugin on Spigot currently, so that is really impressive on its own. Skins Restorer itself is a plugin that restores skins for offline mode servers and networks that gives the player ability to change their skins by typing a single command. So even if you're not running an offline mode server, you can still uh, fluidly change your skin or other people's skin through the plugin. So the base command for this plugin is going to be slash r or slash skins. So um, slash skins opens up our skin menu and these are all um, various skins that we have saved to our server. So uh, we got users that have joined or we have also downloaded additional skins as well, which I'll get into in a second. So more onto uh, setting a skin. So we can do slash skin and then you can either do clear, help, set, or update. So for to do clear, it just clears our current skin that we have set. If we were to do help, um, that's uh, just more of the basics that you'd expect. Set allows us to change our skin to pretty much whoever we want. So if we're to type in Jeb, our skin has fluidly changed to Jeb. And you'll also know that um, Jeb has been added to our skin database as well. So if the server were to ever go offline and we can't access it, that skin's already saved. So anyone can type in Jeb uh, beyond that point. Uh, next up, we got um, oops, sorry, I think it's skin. Next up, we got um, update. So if Jeb were to suddenly change his skin right away, then we would be updated. So if you were to change it on Minecraft.net itself and we were to do Jeb, uh, that skin would get updated. We can also uh, set skin further through a download link. So we have a skin from MinecraftSkins.com. Uh, it's a Django Fett and we click it and that skin had just been downloaded even if no one actually has that skin or owns that skin. Additionally, you can set the skin for other people. So for Roddy Boy 2 we can set him to um, whatever skin we want. So we could set it to someone like Joy Rose and all of a sudden he now has a skin of Joy Rose. As for slash SR, um, if you're to do the drop, that actually removes a skin from the database. So skin data for player Roddy Boy 2 has been dropped. SR help is pretty self-explanatory. Reload reloads the configuration file um, and the locale. Next up, we got the status. As you guys can see, that um, checks if everything is working okay. And so yeah, and also the version information Bungie server um, and the versions of all that as well. And next we got props, which is the properties of someone's skin. So we use slash our props, our wire. As you guys can see, there's just a ton of numerical values that can all be translated into um, a proper Minecraft skin. It's all very complex, but if you're into that, um, I'm sure that can be really helpful as well. There are a few permissions for this plugin as well. And there's a lot of customization um, bundled into this plugin as well within the config. So yeah, that was my showcase for the plugin Skins Restore created by the SR team. I'll leave a link to their plugin down in the description below. Also, if you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Barbercraft, I'll leave the IP down in the description below as well. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys later. Peace.